I love. Let's see here. Educated gangsters. Educated gangsters. Educated gangsters. Educated gangsters. Now please excuse me if I come off a little aggressive. See, I'm a college educated man, but still I'm a little rough around the edges. See, I was born to blue collar pants, but I'm primarily a byproduct of hip hop, rock cocaine, and everybody wanna play in the goddamn NBA. Tatted up with a fresh pair of J's. See, I spit slick 80s baby slang. I eventually graduated from the University of NWA. I went on and got my doctor in sidewalk economics from Ice Cube U. I wrote my dissertation on the back of some blunt papers about why niggas got attitudes. Now, needless to say, most of my colleagues don't be feeling me because I refuse to play by the rules. Plus, I pissed off half of the faculty with my raspy Adam's apple and my radical points of view. They had a nerd to call me a crackpot buffoon. Simply because I was the only one willing to point out and mention when there's an 800 pounds runner sitting in the middle of the room. Woo! Had all my fellow professors shook with my intellectual lectures about how crooks and books go together, like ATL and good weather. <laughs> I mean, look, the US prison population is packed with people who are primary petty criminals with just minimal education while the rest of the nation is controlled by prescription pill drug dealers and educated gangsters. That's why the Ivy Leagues are just the minor leagues with professional hustlers, Wall Street numbers, runners, hoodlums, and Brooks Brothers, international banker gangsters, thugged out think taking the other government gangs and globally gang banger flying the colors. You know red, white, and blue, and you Yankee doodle been fooling. You sold you to lie, first grade public schools, you. You know Yankee doodle went to town, riding on a pony. Stuck a feather in his hat and called it macaroni. And like some dummies, y'all sit back, look at the feather in the hat, and be like, yeah, maybe that shit is macaroni. But not even close, Ken folk. See, from the very beginning, they've been instilling this ain't nothing but some smoke and mirrors. But that is the genius of the whole plan. See, Uncle Sam has no need to keep no tricks up his sleeve, he just keep a mean sleight of hand. That's how they're able to play three called money with the economy. See, the smartest guys in the room are able to get wealthy by moving around imaginary numbers while the working class people live in real poverty. Just pray that they hit the lottery. And the middle class just take the status so they're content with just looking like they might have just hit the lottery. But now you're 401k looking kind of 401 gay because some dude named Down Jones be trying to fuck you every day. Some cat named Nasdaq be like, take that, take that. <laughs> But before I can even finish the rest of my lesson, I got a slight tap on my back from the university president. She said, Dr. Bob, I need to speak to you out in the hall. Now, first of all, I'm absolutely apologetic for ethics in this classroom. And furthermore, you are nothing more than a crackpot buffoon. I mean, how dare you come into this institution of higher education and accuse our greatest thinkers and business leaders of being nothing more than mere gangsters? I said, excuse me, ma'am. I do understand that my academic assessment was somewhat misdirected and got a little bit out of hand. It does not actually address the actual issues at hand. Because in all actuality, the fact that you have the audacity to charge 200 grand for education that should be free, well, man, that is what's gangster to me. So if you're done with your speech, I got a class to teach. So I walk back into the room, apologize to the class, um, said, sorry about all that. Um, where did I leave off at? <laughs> oh, yeah. Take that. Take that! What a damn Wall Street fat cats gang raping your pension with no intention of ever paying it back. That's good educated gangsters don't go bust the bankrupt. It's the billionaire boys club, baby, too big to fail. Get bailed out by daddy Warbucks. They got plenty of prostitutes on the payroll. They pimp slapping the taxpayers. Told me all to shut the fuck up, get my money up, and just cut the check, bitches. We out here poke pimping the private jets, bitches. Cause we four corner hustlers, Fortune 5 gangsters. Big bank take little bank, even snatch off your kids' braces. Cause ain't no thugged out high school dropouts over here. We just educated gangsters. Educated gangsters. Educated gangsters. All right, appreciate that.